Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex. In today's video, I do this makeup look right here. Nice little cut crease using some glitter. I also incorporate a lot of products that I'm currently loving. The video starts out as a talk through, but my laundry was going, so I got a little noisy. So I switched to a voiceover and then go back to a talk through. So if you guys wanna see how this look came together, stay right there. <laughs> Let's do some makeup, shall we? I'm gonna moisturize my skin with this Garnier Ultra Lift Miracle Sleeping Cream. I talked about this in my 2017 favorites. It's a sleeping cream, but I wear it in the mornings as well. I'm gonna prime my skin using Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So normally I do my eyes first, but today I think I'm gonna apply it. Rocco, please not today. Please not today. Take your toy in there with your dad. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started for foundation. I'm using my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I use the shade 3.0, and I just pumped a little bit onto my flat top kabuki brush. And we're just going to apply the foundation. Next, I'm going to contour my face using LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in shade Beautiful Bronze. Next we're going to highlight and conceal. I'm going to be using Max Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm going to mix the shade NW30 with NC30. So the NW30 has more of like a pinker undertone. And what I love about this is one pump literally goes such a long way. So that's the NW, and then I'm gonna take just a tiny drop of the NC. This one has more of a yellow undertone. I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna blend it out using like a pointed kabuki brush, but first I'm gonna spritz it with some Mario Badescu facial spray. Okay, so next we're gonna set under the eyes. My freaking dryer. All right, so to set under my eyes, I'm using Patrick's Powder by MAC Cosmetics. I'm currently loving this powder. I love the way it sets. I actually put it on like my forehead, my smile lines, and underneath my contour as well. This is just a really good powder. Um, I think it sets flawlessly. For bronzer, I'm going in with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil just to set the places where I put the LA Girl liquid contour. And then I take my MAC Studio Fix Powder on a big fluffy brush and just kind of blend everything together and set the rest of my foundation. And then to add some blush, I'm using one of my favorites. This is Pinch Me by MAC. Quickly filling in these brows using Rimmel 
um, eyebrow pencil. I think the shade is dark brown. And here I'm looking to make sure they are sisters because they're definitely not twins. <laughs> Using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, I am going in first with these transition shades. I always like to mix colors for transition. I just feel like it adds more depth quicker. And then after that, I'm going in with this deeper shade with a different brush. Just applying that right under that first transition combo that I put. I'm going to just go in with all the reds in this palette, kind of from lightest to darkest, and just add some gradient to the lid. Really just taking my time here, blending all the shades together and making sure that we have a nice blended look. Next, I'm going to clean up the lid space with some concealer. This is usually a struggle for me to get a straight line, so I really just work slowly and do the best that I can to clean up this lid. And then to fill that lid space, I'm taking my Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette, this gold shimmery shade. It's so gorgeous. And I'm just going to fill in the space that we just cleaned out. I want to keep that separation line, so I'm going in with a flat brush with the dark red shade and just kind of outlining where the red and gold meet. After that, I'm going to take some liquid liner. I'm going to go in and add a wing using my, my NYC liquid liner. And next we're gonna add some glitter. I'm using Urban Decay's Midnight Cowboy, just placing this right over the gold shimmery shade. And for lashes today, I'm popping on these Christina Wispy lashes. I've been loving these. I get them from Amazon and they're super inexpensive. Dryer finally stopped, so we can go back to talking. So the eyes are done for now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the face. I already applied my blush, but I'm gonna go ahead and just brighten it up a tad. Once I have all my face powders on, I'm gonna spray everything using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I've, I've been loving this. I hate how it smells. Does anyone else think it smells super weird? I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. And for highlight, I've been loving Oh Darling by MAC. It has a really pretty gold finish. I'm going to take my sponge and spray it with Fix Plus. I'm going to take my sponge, swirl it in the powder, and then dab it on the face. Now this is going to make my highlight go from like a 5 to a 20. Ooh. 
like so. spray everything with Vix Plus. I'm obsessed with Vix Plus. I almost hate that I use it so much. I go through it way too fast. Okay, now we can finish it underneath the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lower lash line with the black pencil. And then we're gonna go back in with a mix of all the colors that we put in the crease. Um, and just sort of smoke out the lash line. So I'm gonna go in with the lightest red first. I'm not being shy with it. I'm kinda really getting under there and making sure it's nice and intense. Taking some of the darker reds on the outer corner. All right, and then last step for the eyes is to apply mascara. I'm gonna use Benefits They're Real. So I am gonna go in with a nude combo today. I'm going to line them first using Curvy by ColourPop. And for lipstick, I'm gonna use Milani's Matte Innocence. And once our lip is on, the look is complete. So let me know what you guys think about this makeup look in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with some more videos.